In this class, we are going to learn how to copy the action chain from one page to another page. Like suppose here I am having one action chain with the name VB enter page event. What if I want to copy this action chain from this page that is main first page to second page that is main second page. Currently, I don't have any action chains over here. Currently at the time of recording this class, we don't have any options wherein we can just right click select the copy and go to the second page and click on page or something like that. So we have to use some other custom methods to copy the action change from one page to another page that we are going to learn in this class. Before going ahead with today's use case, let's have a short glimpse on what we have learned in our previous class. In our previous class, we had seen how to copy paste the variables and the types. Currently, I'm in the main first page. I'm having this type and the variables created. We had learned in our previous class how to copy paste the type and the variables from one page to second page that is main first to main second. And if you see, we had copy pasted this type and the variables from first page to second page. So we didn't manually create again those variables and the types from scratch over here. So if you want to know how to copy paste the types and variables from one page to another page within couple of seconds, please check out our previous class and learn the trick to copy paste the variables and the types. Without wasting much time, let's begin with our today's use case that is how to copy the action chain from one page to another page. Go to this action tab over here. Currently, I'm having one action chain over here that is this one wherein I'm making a call to REST API that is get all REST countries data and I'm assigning the values to the ADP variable. Now, this ADP variable we are having in both the pages in main first as well as in the main second which we had created in our previous class that is by copy pasting this variable from main first to main second. Now, in order to copy paste this action chain, there is no inbuilt capability wherein we have to just right click copy and paste the action chain. What we have to do is we have to go to this source view over here. If you see there is the code view over here at the end. Expand your application. Suppose if you are having multiple web application, expand the web application wherein you have to paste this action chain that is by copying from another page. Now expand the page. Sorry, we need to expand this flow. Expand the main. Now expand the pages over here. Now here if you see we are having main first page chains. Now we don't have any such folder for the main second page chains. Now if we just expand, we are having this action chain over here this is the code view so if you just click on this design view we will get the design if you just click on this code it will take you to the code view before copy pasting what we have to do is we have to go to this main second go to this actions click on plus action chain here we have to provide the id i am giving this same name that is vb enter page event click on this create now if you expand over here it will automatically create the folder for us. Whenever any action chain is created, it will create us a action chain folder over here. Under the main flow, under the pages, with the page name, we will have hyphen chains and the action chain name. Now, if you just click on this main first, go to this design view. As most of you will be comfortable with design view only, just click anywhere over here and see the name. So, this is the name of this action chain. It is same what is written over here, that is VB enter page underscore event dot JSON. This is the JSON based action chain. So we are not concentrating on JavaScript based action chain in this class. How to copy the action chain that is based on JavaScript, we will learn in some other classes. Now, if I click on this VB page enter event, that is the second page action chain, this is empty. But if you go to the first one, that is which is part of the first chain, it is having all the details. Now, what we have to do is we have to press Control A, copy all, Control C. I am making use of Windows operating system. So you can use similar copy paste shortcuts in your respective operating systems. Now we have to go to this VB enter page event. So before copy pasting, let me show you the design view. It's like this. We are having a just a start node over here. Click on this code view. Control A, delete whatever you have in this page. Control V and paste everything whatever you have copied to the clipboard. Now switch to the design view. Now here if you see, we are having all the details like whatever we have in the main first. Now I will switch to the main first tab over here. Switch to the design. In main first action chain, whatever details we had like invoking the REST API, assigning and sending the notification, similar thing we will have in the main second as well, whatever you see over here. Also, it is saying that you have just created the action chain, but you are not using it in the page. So, this use case you can use in your projects wherein you have the complex action chain where you will orchestrate between n number of web services, applications so and so forth things. But if you want to copy paste similar action chain from one page to another page, you will be wasting hours of your precious time just by creating each and every actions from scratch. So these things you can avoid by copy pasting the action chains from one page to another page in couple of seconds.